Hello there and welcome back to another video. This is part 3 on the beginner 2 pro um, scripting tutorial series over here right now guys. In this tutorial over here we're going to talk about printing. This is a really really useful thing which you guys can use for when you're starting out right up until the end over here guys. A lot of the top developers will use printing guys. You pretty much just have to and I'll explain why later on even though it may not it may not seem important when you're watching this but it actually really really is important and i'll explain why but before i start anything off of here and show you guys exactly how we can now start coding this i first need to go and tell you a little bit about rbrlaxcodes.com which is my own roblox code website where you can find out game codes misa codes and guides there is tons of stuff in there that you guys have to check out overall we cover codes for over 300 roblox games so if you guys need a code for a game it will be there anyway guys i guess let's just go ahead and go on into this video now okay guys first things first we're gonna add a script inside of the workspace over here and i'm going to quickly show you guys what this is so first things first when you actually do create a script you have a print function over here so this is actually printing and what does this actually do guys well if you actually play your game over here and if you did watch episode one where i showed you guys how to make your studio look exactly like mine you'll see the output tab it might be somewhat different for yours but you'll have the output tab open so when we play the game have a little look at the output tab over here and as you can see right now guys it has printed in our output tab hello world just as it said in the script over here so that's what printing is guys it pretty much allows you to to check and um, to, to return something into the output right now guys and why is this useful well guys it's really really useful when you want to maybe check if try and fix a bug in your script and um, let's say if you want to see if a certain like part of the script is running you could just simply um, put print and um, function and print like working or something like that guys literally you can put anything inside of here just to check if it's working it could be like test or something like that guys so this is really really useful if you want to check if a certain part of your script is running when you think it should be also guys it's really really useful to see if the values um if the values are correct in the certain part of the script where you guys expect them to be if um you did watch the last video which i'm pretty sure 99 percent of you guys did we talked about variables guys so if i actually need to find a variable over here local variable is equal to one i could print this variable to check if the variable was still equal to one and as you can see right now guys it's now printing one over here so guys you can pretty much print anything you really want you can print variables so let's say i put this as true right now guys it would also print true for the variable over here which is really really useful as you can see true over there guys so this is really useful when you guys do a bit do stuff more difficult um and you need to it's, it's it's easy to see where stuff is going wrong inside your code if it's not working properly and i use this all the time guys um if you have watched my other tutorials i've used this when i've been fixing bugs and all that sort of stuff that um over there so yeah it's a really really useful thing which you guys pretty much need you need to get used to using in your game over here i recommend when your script is done just to remove the print things when it's fully working but they're useful as a temporary measure just to check if things are working but what exactly can you print other than variables um well well, as you can see there you can print strings so i told you guys what strings were um in the last video strings are just like pretty much words um or characters guys and as you can see it's going to print hello there we can also print the boolean things as we just done with that um with that variable thing over there so if i just print true it's going to say true and i can also do that false as well also guys we can print mathematical like calculations so let's do one times ten and if I do this right now, guys, it's going to go ahead and print 10. As you can see over there, guys, you can do a, like a mad calculation, whatever. Let's just do this over here. We'll just do divided by this time. And then, yep, now it's going to print something crazy. Um, as you can see over there, guys. So, yeah, you can use print um, pretty much for whatever you guys really want over here. They're really, really useful when actually um, fixing bugs. And that's all you guys really need to know about printing, I think. Um, yeah, I don't really think there's anything else for me to tell you guys. Um, of course, you can do mathematical things. So, the different math mathematical things are divided by. And um, there's this. There's two. Actually, I think that's in Python, sorry. But, um you can do to the power of which is the up thing times is the start plus is that minus is that and then divide is that so yeah there's a couple of stuff which you guys can do over here um which is quite useful so yeah that's printing for you all and that's going to be it for this video here i hope you all did enjoy this video if you did make sure to like and subscribe to show some support and peace out